guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Ricky Garuba <laughs> and um, today's video is how I got into NYU tips and tricks and how I got in from a 3.0 I'll leave all that below in the description box so let's get into this video um this past fall I got to NYU Stern School of Business so yeah thank you hold the applause being business and political economy basically it's um a selected program in which they select like 30 students out of their admitted class and you go and study abroad and study you know like you know work for businesses and so it's just it's really nice it's really nice you know it tells me so i'm really thankful to nyu for giving me that opportunity and yeah well let me get back so the first thing my stats my gpa was a 3.7 when i applied unweighted and weighted it was a 3.8 my sat was a 1300 so i mean it wasn't that good but i guess it was good enough your gpa really does matter i know sometimes it doesn't but it shows how well you're willing to try in school and how much effort you're willing to put in to produce those kind of grades so that really does matter your resume is one of the most important things ever when applying to colleges and especially for nyu they want to see some leadership qualities they want to see things that distinguish you from everyone else i also had jobs so i put this in my resume in my school i worked in our cafeteria i was a lunch lady if you will i was a server it helped me it did help me a few years back i used to also work as a babysitter i babysit my um neighbor's kids and they would pay me for that so i have a little bit of job experience it might not be like super duper job experience but like you know your resume is a huge part of your like application process basically in my resume things i did i interned at a bank at an international bank here in the uk last year and um that really does give you an edge as a freshman i worked in the play department so my um my freshman year i was like backstage help out with the cruise makeup sophomore year i didn't really help much but much of like stage design and stuff junior year i helped build the stage in my art class and i was also a member i was cinderella's evil sister to be honest i should have been cinderella but i didn't want to like upstage her so people do like to see that because you know nyu isn't only like super duper academics it's like really artsy it has like different things i did all of those things and those really i believe those really did help me leadership qualities do not know how far leadership will get you so for instance i was my class president i was president of the spirit club the spirit club in my school was basically a, a club set up to you know promote school spirit because my school was a small private school and we had a lot of international students who would rather stick to their clique i was in five honor societies so i was in the national honor society the national social studies honor society i was in the mulafa theta honor society which is basically the math honor society i was in the science honor society and i was in the english honor society not only are the honor societies like academic you know academic wise they're also leadership qualities because to get into an honor society you have to be you have to have some sort of leadership you have to have some sort of service you have to do a lot of things to get in so those really put me forward if you are a freshman in high school i suggest you get on your gpa like don't joke with your freshman year i had a 3.0 in my freshman year i don't know how i got to a 3.0 actually i do because I, I came to summer school a few times um, I retook classes and took classes that were ahead of me so I could like, you know, get ahead and I got A's in my classes So that really did give me a good jump in my GPA taking honors and AP classes My junior year I took two AP classes and I took two honors classes my senior year. I took How did I just I literally just graduated like two months ago and I forgot everything. <gasps> oh Yeah, so I did take AP's will help you if you 
if you are not getting a B or above in your AP class, honey, I think you need to rethink and just drop it. It's better for you to go to a regular class and have all A's and go to an honors or an AP class and be having like D's, C's, because that does not sit well with colleges. It just feels like you went for the extra 0.5 or plus one, whatever your school does, and colleges don't, it does, it's not a good look. I'm not an admissions counselor, but I have spoken to some and they say like, if you're not getting a certain grade in an AP class or an honors class, you shouldn't be taking that class because it's really terrible for you. AP scores. If your AP scores are not in the four or five, okay, maybe three, maybe three. If they are not in the three, four, five category, please do not send it. Do not send it. I went for um, a summer, it wasn't a summer camp, but it was basically like a summer camp at a college. And they were telling us like, if your scores are two or one, please don't send it. Your chances can be so high and then they see your AP scores and they're like, you know what? your scores aren't high don't send them just get the credit okay get the credit and um yeah that's it this is my nyu acceptance so isn't it so cute it says congratulations welcome to nyu hopefully next year i expect you to have this okay because i know you worked hard for it i know you want to go there and if it's where you're meant to be you will be here with me so let me show you how it looks on the inside I was so happy receiving this in the mail it's like so cute Hold up. Let me... well it's just a picture of like the NYU campus this is the Washington monument did I say monument did I say monument okay okay never mind <laughs> um I don't know New York so I don't know what this is no it's the Washington Square Washington Square Arch that's what we're gonna call it if it's not please let me know down below in the comments because I clearly do not know anything <laughs> wonder how I got in yeah so this is my acceptance letter at least look it's so cute it's so cute you've made it so this is my acceptance letter right oh this is low. all right since it's not gonna let you see that I'm going to it's it's um okay i don't know why this is not showing but i will insert a picture of it in like the next clip basically it says dear routine on behalf of the admissions committee it is my honor and privilege to share you that share with you that you have been admitted to new york university congratulations i could be i could not be more excited to welcome you to nyu yeah, this is from the Dean of Admissions, um, Mr. Sean L. Abbott, I believe that's his name. Next year, you should be getting this in an NYU 2023, next year, because I believe you can do it. It's, it's all about hard work and discipline, but you definitely can do it. Anyone, I mean, I did it, and I had no belief in myself because my friends did, did tell me that I wasn't going to get in. It's not like... Oh, I'm sure you'll get in. They were like, um, I'm really not sure you'll get in because it's a really competitive school and everything. But I did. So don't let anybody bring you down because you never know. Because the day I was checking my um, admissions to the rest of my schools, I was opening all of them. Some good, some, you know. And here comes NYU one and I didn't really want to open it because in my mind it was already like you're not going to get in they already told you you're not going to get in so like don't even try and then I open it and the first letter the first like the first you know usually schools are like congratulations oh my gosh you're gonna, first thing I see is on behalf of the admissions committee and I was reading and thinking on behalf of the admissions committee we want to apologize to you and it is with heavy heart that we tell you that you are not accepted but i read and it was like on behalf of the admissions committee we would like to formally congratulate you welcome you and i no 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 it was like we are thrilled to welcome you to and i was like i was like what i started crying and crying because like 
when people underestimate you and you like come through that it's it's real it's it's real it made me feel like i could do anything even if i don't believe in myself sometimes like you never know don't let anybody talk down on you if you put in all the hard work god is going to come through for you things are gonna work out it's that's just the way life is so you can't believe what people always have to say about you you know those those are a few tips and tricks on how i got into new york university you can also dm me on my social media the links are down below please message me because i love answering these questions and i love helping people because i know i needed the help when i was applying and i i struggled i really did struggle but i hope you liked this video if you did please like subscribe and leave a comment saying asking any questions if you have any further questions please leave it down below in the comments i always reply i mean i just started youtube so i'm trying to always reply